and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Harakah Kodash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me the truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered by the four winds of the world, the men, the prophets, the 144,000 that are that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you. I would like to say shalom. Agree with thy adversary quickly. All right, and this is this, this lesson in the wake of this Dante Wright situation that happened in Minnesota where the police this woman accidentally shot this Jake uh, where she thought she was taking him, but she actually shot him. But at the end of the day, yeah, I'm going to play the video. This Jake, if you, if like this, most Jakes, they know when they get pulled over, if they have warrants, if they have uh, uh, unpaid parking tickets or whatever, all right, they had some kind of running with the law where they didn't take care of. All right. So at the end of the day, we don't have, we, we're in captivity. We don't have power. All right, so agree with that adversary, all right? Hey, you know that you fucked up and didn't pay whatever you had to do or go to court. Hey, this is no way. Because at the end of the day, these Edomites out here, all right, that perpetual hatred that Esau has for Jake is not going away. It's got to All right, these Edomites out here are really trigger happy right now. All right, because they see racial tension. They see uh, um, they see Jake rising up, all right? And at the end of the day, they, 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 they're, they're, they're petrified. They're scared, all right? But hey, we, 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 like I said, we're still in our captivity. We got to handle, we have to follow that, um, the model Yahweh Shai followed. Or in the, in the, walk in the model uh, that Yahweh Shai did. Follow his example, all right? When, and when the Roman soldiers, the Syrians came and, and got Yahweh Shai, he didn't fight, all right? And, and you know, uh, uh, the apostle, uh, the, uh, the, the disciple Peter was in that spirit of, you know, rising up, but it wasn't that time, all right? Let me play this video so you can see. The incident that took place where, you know, this and this all Jake's out there, man. You know, especially Jake and the Jake and his truth. All right, hey, we can't we, we can't fight against these Edomites because we don't have the power. All right? we, and this is not a, this is not a physical this is not a physical battle. That's what a lot of Jakes and is have to realize. All right, we're not supposed to be having guns, and toting guns, and and uh, 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 going to the shooting range and all that stuff. All right, this is a spiritual battle. Okay. And, how was shy and the angels, the host of angels, are going to come down and get physical with these Edomites. Hey, we just have to do the groundwork. We just have to chant this place now, call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh. All right, that that's that right there is is is, is um you know uh, can these devils lose sleep? All right, so let me play this video and I'm plus precepts. And I'm just let me pause this so I can. Get and I, you know, we hate to see Jake get jacked up, but hey, this sanctioned by how about Shnar Shai? This, this Jake for him to die like this, hey, all right. I'm, I'm gonna grab the scripture. Whoever perished being innocent, all right. So this was a judgment, okay. Let me play it now and show you why we have to agree with our adversary because he was getting at. Then what did he try to run? Kick in the door at two in the morning and come and get the men of the Lord. What are we gonna fight? All right, hey, we're gonna just hey, regret our adversary here, you know, put us in cups, you know, do whatever you're gonna do us, throw us down, you know, uh, you know, ransack our houses, whatever you're gonna do, do it, okay, because we're not gonna fight. All right, when the men of the excuse me, when the Esau comes down with great wrath, when he kicks in the door, we're just gonna, hey, uh, follow suit, hey, all right, let's go, all right, because at the end of the day, we have. That's why when you get in these situations, you you're in your mind, or right, you should be calling the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and 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 at the same time, following and complying with these uh with the, with these Edomite cops or J cops or whoever, uh whatever uh, encounter you may have with law enforcement, okay? 
Because, hey, we still have to live under this devil system, so we still have to comply to, uh, to a degree, okay? But, you know, don't be stupid and, and, and going out there and get yourself killed like this Jake did. Okay? So let me hop into some scriptures real quick. I'm not going to play the rest of the video, but, you know, you saw it for yourself. Where the hell was he going to run at the end of the day? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5. In verse uh, 25, agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art in, well, while thou art in the way, <clears throat> lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou can, and thou be cast into prison. Okay, so hey, you don't want that Edomite, that Edomite, uh, to be a uh, 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 um, judge, Drew. Executioner, right there. So agree with that officer, okay? Hey, if you, if, if, but at the same time, you Jake's out there. You should be handling your business. If you got parking tickets, you got registration that's due. Hey, take care of it. All right, don't be a, don't 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 let it lead to a situation where you're put in, in, in a situation where you you know you're feeling threatened and you do something and you react emotionally and and get yourself killed. Agree with an officer. All right, at the end of the day, and I'm going to get the example when Yahweh shot being taken um, by the Roman centurions and, and, and what happened, what transpired. And uh, Peter smote, um, was it Malchus, 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 hero. All right, and, and when Yahweh shot to him. All right, this is the spiritual battle that we're in. It's, um, the book of Matthew, chapter 26, and first verse, uh, I started at 47. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came and with, and with a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and the elders of people. All right, so this is when they were, this, they were coming to get Yahweh shot. Now, the, now, he that betrayed him gave them a sign saying, whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Yahweh Shai and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh and took him. And Yahweh Shai had power. Okay? He had power to heal. He had the spirit. Let tell you, he had power to call 12 legion of angels. But what did he do? All right, he didn't fight back. He didn't try to run. Okay? Because he knew this was his time. All right? And each Jake that's in his troop, hey, we know that our time is going to come. We know, we don't know which way Esau is going to come, but we know they're going to come eventually. Okay? And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of, of the high priest and smote his ear. So he, he did, uh, Peter, um, a slap, a slap that Roman centurion's ear. Okay, because hey, he was ready to get shit cracking. He was in the spirit uh, of kind of like, like Jake right here, trying to rebel, trying uh, you know fight back. Hey, this ain't our time to fight back. Okay, hey, it's a time and a place for everything. Everything, and like how I said, this is my kingdom. My men will fight. All right, not in this verse, not in this um, this chapter, but in I believe it's in uh, Luke or um, the book of Luke or uh, uh, John. I'm not sure, but um, let me see how I continue reading right here. Then how I unto him put up again thy sword into his place. For all that take the sword shall perish with the sword. All right, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot pray? To my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels, and one angel can destroy the whole earth. So twelve legions, and I think a legion is between um let's say seven and ten thousand. Alright, so twelve legions of angels. Alright? To, to to take out the to, to, to take out the Roman Roman army. Okay, the Roman army was great at that time. Alright, so Yahweh Shai had the power, but he wasn't in that spirit of of vengeance yet, all right. He's in that spirit of vengeance now to, to avenge uh, um, uh, his elect and redeem the elect. But in that time, all right, it wasn't the, it was the time, all right, because his disciples wanted him to restore the kingdom of heaven, you know, restore the kingdom back to Israel. But it wasn't that time, all right. But now, but how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that that thus it must be, all right? The scripture had to be fulfilled that Yahweh Shah would be that sacrifice for for the nation of Israel, okay. Um, that ultimate sacrifice uh, um, for sin, all right? That same hour, Yahweh Shai said, the same hour said Yahweh Shai to the multitudes, are ye come out against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? 
I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and you laid no hold of me, laid no hold of me, saying that you know you come in with all this, this you know your swords and staves, and you see me every day teaching, you know, and you never laid hold on me. But this was done that the scriptures of the prophets must be fulfilled. Then the disciples forsook him and fled. All right, so you may see the point. All right, Yahweh Shai, we have to be in the prophets, men, the Lord. All right, as the hopeful elect, we have to be in that same spirit of Yahweh Shai. We can't uh, uh, take this devil down carnally. We can't we can't fight this devil at his we can't beat this devil at his own game because he was blessed with the sword. Okay, we can't we can't win that battle. All right, we have to win this spiritual battle, and then Yahweh Shai with the angels is going to come and, and take Esau out completely. It's not going to be fair. Okay. Um, to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. And, and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, meaning flesh, meaning, uh, uh, you know, guns or, you know, anything like that. All right. Our, 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 strength, is in our, our, our strength is in our faith. Our strength is in those names of the Lord that's, that he'll deliver us in our time of trouble. So, you know, say, you know, anyone could get in that situation, but it's how you use wisdom and how you 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 um you attest the situation and understand that you know hey these Edomites they they have the, they have the power to take you out okay you just gotta you know Lord willing the Spirit is dealing with you and, and the Heavenly Father guide you through that situation okay and, and like the Scripture say in that day the Lord's gonna give us what to say all right He's gonna put the words around our mouth. When, when, when the devil comes in like a flood and, and we're brought before governors and, uh, um, actually, let me get it. Matthew 5 and, um, This actually is good. I'll read this, but it's, it's another verse. It says, Blessed are ye, or blessed are ye which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is a kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and ye shall and shall say, All men are evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they they the prophets which were before you. Alright, so let's go into the persecution. Uh, let me see. I think it's this verse. Um I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Let me grab this. I had said earlier that this was sanctioned. This this this, this Jake that died was sanctioned by the Most High. It was sanctioned by Yahweh by Shinar Shai that he would get judged that way. Okay? And if you understand reincarnation, this guy, this Jake was 20 years old. So people say, well, you know, he never he had a he he lived his life here and he had a former life. So whatever he did, he paid judgment for it. Okay, this is the book of Job, chapter four and verse seven. Remember, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. He asks a question. Or where were the righteous cut off? Okay, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Okay, so if you were wicked, like that Jake, and we don't know what his life was. We don't know what he was into, but we know he had a little girl that was two years old, I think. But hey, some say he was judged for a reason. Okay, the most high judge don't. You know, judge people just to fuck them up. You know, he, hey, that happens for a reason. The Most High sanction that. The Most High is the giver uh, and, and taker of life. All right. This is um, Galatians six and seven. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. So for whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he reap. All right. For he that soweth to the flesh of the flesh shall reap corruption, and he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit seek everlasting life. So hey, Jake, hey, whatever he sowed, he he, he was. Raped. Okay, that was his judgment. All right, judgment came down, and, and, and he, you know this is going to be his number. His number was called that. The death angel came and, and took him out. All right, the, the the angel could have 
been on that that police officer to you know have her actually pull her taser and tase her. He would have been living, but hey, it's not it's not up to it's a, it's really wasn't up to the uh, you know, my police officer. It was up to, uh, to the Most High. It's up to the where he had the angels, um, you know, execute that judgment. This is Deuteronomy chapter thirty two and thirty nine. Um, see see now that I even I he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right, it's most the Most High that does that. That kills and makes alive, wounds and heals. All right, let me get another verse. It's um, Isaiah forty-five and um, verse seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things to so show you the the Most High is in ultimate control. Ultimate, uh, um, you know, He's control of everything. All right, it's nothing outside, nothing that the Most High is not in control of. This is Amos 3 and, um, uh, verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people might be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? All right, so the Lord is in the middle of everything. All right, so when Jake got judged right here, Dante Wright, the Lord was in the midst. Okay, and it's just, hey, it's just the Lord, you know, it, this is being brought light you know they had the cameras the body cameras on and you know this is a big deal right, especially with getting, you know uh, the george floyd situation out there in minnesota and everything but you know he saw it and he saw stirring the pot right the most high stirring the pot because the most high wants this race right to crack off and eventually everything is going to boil over that's happening okay but the elect is going to be set the elect is going to escape situations like this where they think that they're back against the wall, they have no way out, and somehow, some way, the Most High is going to make a way for them to escape, for them to be, re re for them to be reserved, preserved for uh, um, for uh, salvation. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter thirty-four, and verse seventeen: "The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of their troubles." All right, hey. The righteous is crying every day. The men of the Lord are crying and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, so hey, hey, if Jake was right in the right mind, in the right, in the right spirit, he would have been calling on the Lord in that time. All right, he hey, he should have been calling on the Lord when they was putting the cuffs on him. Just put the cuffs on him, and hey, the angel, an angel, or something could have happened where they took him back to the car and said, you know what, we're going to let you go. All right, and hey, he would have been all right. But hey, Jake, being emotional, all right, and, and and you know, rebellious. Okay, he thought he could get away. He thought he he thought he could uh, outrun the police when you got damn near three police officers. I'm pretty sure at least two police cars surround him. Okay, but that's the that's the it, that, that's how idiotic our, our people have become. You know, I'm gonna get one last scripture in the Book of Psalms, um, chapter uh, 107, and verse six. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. Okay, hey, we're going to be crying to the Lord. All right, we're going to be crying and crying. When, when, when the, the hopeful elect, the elect get in these situations where they're in encounters with law enforcement, whether the martial law troops, um, you know, whatever it may be, all right, we're going to walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. All right, because we know we cannot win this, this carnal battle with this devil Esau. All right, you know we have to be we have to be spiritual in all we do. All right, we have to you know build our build our faith up to when these times come because we don't know what situation we're going to be in and how we're going to react. We just got to hope that we have the spirit of Yahweh in our child us and the spirit guides us through these situations and you know we 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 come out all right, all right. So you no know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shimei our Until next time, I say Shalom.